Beetle. This is the North American Star Team League, and I just said that in <laughs> Espanol. So, uh, yeah. well, you know, North America is turning into... Bienvenue. Okay. French. Nobody cares about Canadian, man. Oh, that's, that's true. That's yeah. true. France people care about, but... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, of course. But hello, everybody, and welcome. Today is day number four, and we are heading on over into another exciting clan where we have two teams that are probably... Two of the shining stars, I want to say, in the scene. Yep. Uh, well, one of which is probably considered or arguably the best foreign team in the world. The other one, uh, you know, he, they've been really leaving their mark lately, and they came up from the qualifiers. But why don't you go ahead and introduce the uh, the team, Stern? Well, the first team, <coughs> of course, is Quantic Gaming. And they actually earned the final spot in the qualifier this past weekend, actually. Mm -hmm. They took down It's Gosu yes. in the semifinals, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they did. And that was a really impressive game. And I think the most impressive thing about um, what Quantic showed us in the qualifier was that they, I guess, they didn't use their A team, I guess. You know, Destiny, Naniwa, Sase, um, yeah. and Startail even. They, they partnered with Startail recently, but none of those players played in the qualifiers. It was just, I guess, their, um, you know, the other guys, I guess you could exactly. say, you know, uh, AGH, Dark Cell, Zelnik, Inca, and they're also their uh, their new Korean player, Apoc. He's he's pretty good actually. And, and not to take away from their team, but I mean, when you have players like Nani Law, like Sase, who are training in Korea, and, and Destiny, of course, that are training in Korea, you have the ability to use people like July Zerg, Squirtle. Right. Uh, those players are probably some of the best players in the world. Definitely. So uh, I don't mean to say that you know who they used in the regular season or excuse me, the qualifiers were bad by any means. It's just these players are S-class ranked, I think, mm -hmm. when you when you go <coughs> up to, to really judge them. What I think this shows is how deep of a roster Quantic really has. I mean, I think that their, I guess, their other lineup, you would say, their not star-studded lineup, has gone kind of under the radar. People don't really know them. They don't see them in major events. I mean, you see, you know, their players go to the MLGs, but they don't make, you know, top 10, top, top 16. Yeah. So you don't really get that as, as much exposure as the guys like Nanyo and Sase do, but through the qualifiers, they show that they're actually a really good group. So I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to perform in the full league. Yeah, I am too. Now, they're going to be going up against Team Liquid, that's a pretty good team. That's a pretty good team. They Jinro, Hero, Chef, TLO, Rhett, a monster powerhouse team. Um, obviously, everybody knows who Team Liquid is. I don't even need an introduction, but for those of you, that, that one person living under a rock, uh, Team Liquid, first off, is probably the website of... Uh, the best website yeah. in the history of websites, oh. actually. Good I thing think we're not pandering. Yeah, I, c I think <laughs> Team Liquid isn't Team Liquid something like in the top fifty or hundred websites in terms of traffic in the world. Are they? I think so. Uh, I think they're really, sure. really high up there. Well, but they're they've yeah. been around forever since the StarCraft Brood War days. They've been oh, uh, yeah. a huge fan of Blizzard games in general. Yeah. Um, except World of Warcraft, I guess. I don't think that there's a World of Warcraft thread in there. No, but probably uh, <laughs> not. Um, but you know what? They've been awesome, and then they, they made a team for StarCraft 2. Uh, they had one for StarCraft 1. It was kind of inactive, but StarCraft 2, they made a team, and they have the best players in the world for sure. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. I mean, their newest recruit, Xenio, also, uh, we haven't really seen him in a lot of uh, things lately, but word on the streets is that he's actually playing in this clan war, so I'm actually really excited. The last time we really saw Xenio in the spotlight was really at the NASL Season 1 finals, where he unfortunately got taken out by Sen in yes. the first round. There was the, uh, r the really funny, um, that one clip on YouTube where I think In Control wants to give him a handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and he, like, doesn't go for the handshake, turns to Sen and just stares at him. And Sen just goes... <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of the funniest moments of the NSL season one finals. <laughs> but Zen sure. a really good The other player. one is Sen kicking out the internet for... Oh, yeah, that was... That was <laughs> Sen was so excited yeah. <laughs> after he won. <laughs> Again, he was Zenia. just running around he just ran around out the internet. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, we that lost the internet. What do we do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that wasn't so funny for us. No. That's one of those things <laughs> that it's really, really stressful at the moment, but then later on, like right now, we're laughing yeah. about it. <laughs> oh, God. Sen. Um, but, Sen. yeah, I do know that <coughs> that Zenio will be playing in the first match, actually. Yeah. I'm really, really excited. It's going to actually be Zenio versus uh, Shuffle. Yep. Zenio versus ZVZ. Shuffle. ZVZ. Uh, ZVZ, the starting map is on Tal Dream Altar. We have it all set up. Jaren, are you ready? 
Um, I am ready, but the oh, before, yeah, right before we start the games, what I want to do is say that you should all check out our Facebook because we're going to be giving away a Kingston HyperX 16 gigabyte flash drive on Facebook. So check out Facebook for more details. And of course, I want to give a huge shout out before we get into the game to Kingston HyperX, of course, to Cooler Master, to Azo for the awesome monitors, and of course, iBuyPower for being our system sponsor of the NESL. All of our computers are yep. run and powered by iBuyPower. So definitely check those guys out. And I can't say enough for all those sponsors that really make this all work. Yeah, please tweet at them and, and thank them for supporting esports because right now we're in a phase where it's like crossing over. It's almost like, you know, a full-blown sustainable industry. It's almost mainstream. It's almost mainstream, but it we're still working there, especially here in the U.S. Right. We're still working to that point. So uh, this <coughs> is the time when we really, really have to just band together, really, and, and try to make this as Solidarity, sustainable as man. possible. Solidarity. I love solids. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and go into the game <laughs> right now. Let's do it. Uh, let's start it up. It's going to be Liquid versus Quanta. Game number one with OGS Zenio against OGS Zenio. Team Liquid Zenio Aww. against Shuffle. It's because he has the OGS name. I know. It's, you know, I wonder what the dynamic is in the house. I wonder if it changes anything, really. I'm guessing no, honestly. Yeah, probably. I feel like, yeah, they seem to be all amazing friends. Yeah. Um, uh, to me, it's just like... OGS and Team Liquid are interchangeable. <coughs> Excuse me. Not 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 like 100%, but like in my opinion, OGS Team Liquid, they've known each other forever. They've been living together forever. Uh, I I just see them as sort of the same team, you know. Yeah. That makes sense. And we don't see much going on right now. Actually, well, we do have a ZVZ on Taldarum altar. Something about this map, the natural is pretty open. Normally, we do have something like 14 14s, uh, just because it's very probable uh, to be in close position. There's a 66% chance that both of you are in close position. Yep. And Zenio is taking his gas for us, actually. So, yep. what do you read into that? Definitely looks like Shuffle's planning on going for a. 15 or 16 hatch. Oh, and, wow. Uh, Interesting. So it is 14, 13 for, uh, for Zenio. He didn't choose to get that extra drone, so he's getting the spawning pool a little bit earlier, just playing super safe in, in case it is something like a 10 pool. I know 10 pool has been a lot more common. I've been talking to cats with this. 10 pool has been a lot more common on the Korean server, and uh, he said he's been seeing that so much. It's a pretty standard build. You can play um, nicely, nicely ahead because there's just so many different variations to go after that ten pool. So right. we'll see. Uh, y obviously, neither of these players are doing it, but uh, that's why I think we have the slightly earlier thirteen spawning pool. I'm not sure. I love this fifteen hatch completely. I think it's kind of risky, actually. Yeah, I think it's very risky, actually. Just because, as we said, there's no ramp to really block things. <coughs> right. You need a ton of queens if you want to block this type of opening. But still, that's not that's not even an option. I shouldn't have even said that. Metabolic boost is going to be highly delayed. He needs uh, and look at that Baneling. Banelings. Yes. This is not even metabolic boost comes out. He's going right. straight for Banelings. And I think in this situation, it's actually going to work out very well for him. I mean, I think I I'm not sure if Shuffle is going to really be prepared for this. And plus. You know, he hasn't even scouted what Xenio's doing right now. Well, he saw a couple Zerglings pass by. Now, what Ooh, Xenio did... a preemptive did, spine crawler. I really like that by Shuffle, actually. He has to at this point. I mean, he has he has a huge uh, set of things that he has to defend against, uh, but mainly it's speed Zergling, it's z speed Zergling Baneling, it's just slow Zergling Baneling, it's Roaches. Uh, Roaches obviously would come out probably the slowest, but still he has to defend against a lot of stuff. He needs that spine crawler to be made beforehand, especially on a map like Talarium Altar, yep. it's very easy to take advantage of all of this space. Now the first Banelings from Xenio are morphing over here in the corner, trying to hide. And he's really going to come, I think he's going to go for a timing. Once his speed finishes, I think he's going to run in with a big force he, he, and he try should, to overwhelm Shuffle. He should actually go right now, I think. Durant. And you are right, because he is going right now. 
And yeah, the spine is even oh, down. And really God. nice bane link hit there. And the queen even looks like it's going to get taken out. And it does. And this is actually not looking good for Shuffle at all. No. This is almost... Uh, it's just about game ending, it feels like. This natural yep. the is going to die. The queen... Oh, no. The queen is going to get picked yep. off. This is what I like. Xenio is actually not... A lot of lesser players would actually use these bane links for the... Um, for the for the drones and I don't think that's the right decision. I think continuing pressure onto this main is the best way possible and, and just mitigate as many units at, as you can, you know? I mean, you right. have the the army advantage for the longest time possible. Um, just utilize that and make sure you're Oh, can't do nice bailing hit. So all the banelings get taken out, but Xenio just has a gigantic Zergling advantage over Shuffle. Plus he has Zergling speed as well, so this is not looking good for Shuffle. And there, there we go, is. Shuffle actually GG's. So Liquid, they're going to take the first game, a very fast game. Uh, as I said, I think it was a build order win. Um, to go something like a 15 hatch, not saying you can't defend against a build like that, because I think with amazing micro and stuff like that, you of definitely course. can. But I think it's like a, a favor, f uh, just in terms of builds, it favors Xenio much, much more. And that was just a regular 14, 13, no speed, no, uh, yeah, no speed, baneling type of bust. Yeah. A and what Pretty could he have done? Well, I, I think the problem was that on Taldarum, since there's no ramp, it's much more difficult to hold. Yeah. Oh, well, that's exactly what it is. Uh, maybe if there was a ramp, he can get his queens in place. Even so, he didn't have his qu second queen up, so yep. the ramps would have been covered, things like that. But yeah. uh, I like what Zenio did. He reacted. He saw the expansion, reacted to it, said, I'm not going to go speed. I'm going to go straight for a baneling nest. It right. wasn't like I'm going to blind baneling nest, and, and that's that. Yeah. It was. He saw what it was. He uh, punished it accordingly, and they yeah. have it. So Really good play from Zenio. Liquid going to go up 1-0, and uh, for those of you at home, I know that we always talk about Kingston HyperX, Kingston HyperX. Well, today might be your lucky day. Yes. Go check out Facebook. Yep. Go check out Facebook. Uh, anyway, we're going to go uh, to a break. We'll be back with more uh, Liquid versus QXG action. Stay tuned, everybody. More, uh, more games coming your way.